this is two guys teach industrial design. Today we're gonna, you know what? No, I'm gonna word this differently. Have you ever looked at a blank canvas and wonder what do I put on it? This is coming to my mind. I'm blank. Ah, I need to have writer's block, but except for a designer's block. Well, guess what? This software might kind of help ease the pain a little bit. This software is called Alchemy. It's a pretty uh, interesting little software. I got a download from Mac in the description below. It's a Google Drive link. And then for all you Windows lovers, I got a link for you as well in the description. So check it out. It's free. So don't worry about that. It's covered. Yeah. So let's look into this bad boy right here. Alchemy. Wow. Right, let's get right back into it. Or get right into it. So how to get the access to your bar is just by hovering over the Alchemy bar itself. We're gonna hit choose for style, thick, and everything else doesn't matter. This is just to show how it works. And this is where you get all your little special cool ways to go about doing this. We'll get into that in a bit. But first, I'll show you how this works. So, for this, especially with the thick bar, this is the part that is awesome, that matters, is no matter where you click, it's gonna always go back to home base. So you click and you hold as you pull out. And that gives you what you have here. It looks boring, I know, but hear me out. It gets, gets pretty freaking awesome. So now, let's say like if I was to do some swirlies. See how that line in the middle just keeps on kind of inverting what's on the other side? That is the beginning of something beautiful. And just to give you another preference, let's try it again. This time we're gonna do some pipe ups. So boom, boom, bring it on down. Yeah, see that right there? It gets a little trippy, it gets a little awkward. We can use this to our advantage. <laughs> and here's exactly how. Now let's say I want to like create some kind of crazy abstract. I guess flower field or grassy field or whatever, just for the sake of sake. It gives you very crisp edges and also allows for you to quickly mock up some very abstract shapes very fast. Without little to no effort actually if you think about it. So don't hate me for this, don't hate me please, but you cannot delete what you create. Like everything you put on there is there. You have to completely erase the entire canvas, right and clear. That's the one downside to this, but hey, I guess it helps you to just be more spontaneous. So we're going to this place. How that works is you click and hold, and then pretty much this goes and grows and grows into a weird beast. And here's how that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna take this and just keep on dragging it. I make a little sword. Oh yeah, look at that sword. I got like a little uh, little uh, kill a kill sword, don't I? Yeah, or a scissor blade. Yeah, for you nerds out there. <laughs> And we can actually kind of play with uh, some, uh, let's make some little, I guess, little sparks or uh, accents around the blade itself, just for fun, because we can, you know. Our masterpiece is eh for the moment. Uh, let's say if I wanted to actually save this bad boy, how I'll go about doing that is going to File, going to Export. You have several different options about how to save. I guess JPEG is good for now. Uh, and I'm gonna put this actually in a different folder so I can actually find it. Alright, cool. random folder. Ah, there you are. Yes! Hi, right, well, I'll save it there. Some bullshit name there, or some bulk name. You know what? I'm gonna save it as a J, as a PNG. Yeah, that way you get to re you get to retain your transparency. And I'll show you how. So you, as long as you uh, hit that box right there, boom. That way you can import it to Photoshop or any other Adobe or any other photo editing software, and have full able to treat it like a like somewhat vector. And for example, let's go to our file. Now, notice how the background is blank and how you can just see our work. That's what transparency means. And that's perfect for adding to other projects because this is just a little piece to get us to the next step to back into Photoshop. All right, let's do something else. So now we're gonna go and check out, hey, hey well, let's clear this first. We're gonna check out, uh, let's see, add some gradient to this bad boy. We're gonna leave this placement off a little bit just to show you the effect it has. Just make some random shapes, it doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? Bunk that. We're gonna take off this place with a little annoying. I want for a different effect. So, 
one thing you notice about gradient is that where you first click at and when you pull out that is going to be it going from dark to light so home is dark and as you go further away from home then you get more lighter yeah pull out all right so there's just some more random little shapes here to get that so i can show you how it works Alright, time to mix it up a little bit. We're gonna go to our color switcher. And what this does is it randomizes every time you click down the opacity and it also randomizes the color every single time. So you're not, you don't know what you're gonna get at all. You have no idea. And that's the fun of it, to be honest. I guess you can't really uh, let me see. I guess you can't really see. I'm gonna turn off gradation. So you can probably see it. That's a bit better, I think. Let's do a bit more playing around with this. And the key to this is it's constantly overlaying your. So if you have a line you want to make a bit more prominent, just go over it, over it again and again until you get it. And as long as you remember, just kind of remember how you got to that shape, then you can just uh, you can actually make this into a workflow. Remember the keyword here is fast and to the point. We're not, we're not going to spend a lot of time in the software. It's just to get us out of the writer's block or the designer's block, as I said. <laughs> Now let's say if you put that on a line and you want to kind of customize it. There's an option here called random. Click on that right there and then you just hover over the line and it just changes. And just so you know, um, every time you click on a feature or effect, it stays on. So unless you click it off, it will always be on. So just be mindful of what effects you have on and what effects are off. So I'm going to turn the off. We're going to go and play with uh, something else. So this is smooth. And you, I have random on so smooth and random is going to make it the random lumps of curves <laughs> if I were to turn off random then that way you have more control of smooth so I hover over this and just actually any kinks you have will just move right out over the perfect line so there is some way to edit or to get a certain look although there is no erase but I guess eh, you can't pit, you can't win all your battles right <laughs> Yeah, let's go over this again. So yeah, all this gentleman mess right here is getting evened out. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And you might even get some cool shapes just from that little piece right there. You never know. So again, this is just to get us out of that rut. Get us to think a bit different. And we're gonna work, we're gonna work so smart. Oh, we're gonna work so smart. What we're gonna do now is everyone knows about mirror. We're gonna find the mirror. Mirror's gonna be located in effect effect and mirror. And your options for changing where you want it to be horizontal or vertical or both is right in this little top bar. And what we're gonna do is just keep on doing the shape, overlay it a lot until we get the certain effect we want. And remember the key is to go fast and let the software work for you. Oh, and now you know we gotta go in with some extra punch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to um, and turn off our color switcher and we're gonna go and pick a bright color and just punch up some of these areas controlledly, controlledly, controlled. Controlled, yeah, yeah, whatever. you know what I mean. We have one last thing to go over. This is called type shapes. You go to it by hitting create and going down to type shapes. And you can play with a lot of things here with the randomness and the size. And you can mix it, of course, with other effects. Use this one to how you feel you should. Remember, we we're supposed to be having fun here. So you can go big, you can go small, go crazy, have fun. You'd be surprised what you can make what the software can make for you. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I got for you today. Now there will be PNG samples of the examples in the description below. <laughs> this is two guys teaching industrial design. Not to be confused with two chains, all right? <laughs> we do have social media. We're always posting stuff. We love what we do. And hey, we're all in this together. Peace.